Let us now have an example involving an NTI. In this example, uh, assume that um, the output of a filter is uh, given by uh, this uh, expression. So this is x of n is the input. You have an LTI filter. The output is y of n, and y of n is generated by adding x of n plus a times a previous sample of the output. So for this filter, if if you take z transform, um, obviously the z transform of these random sequences may not work. But if these were deterministic, then these would have been y of z minus a y of z uh, times z minus 1 is equal to x of z and then if you calculate y of z divided by x of z you get h of z which is the transfer function and this is z transform of uh, impulse response of this filter now if the input is white sense stationary Uh, we could we have the the autocorrelation function of the output is equal to the power spectral density of the input times this one. So remember that if uh, coefficient a is complex, you have to put a conjugate, two conjugates here. If a is real, you don't need to put this one. So these are needed if a is a complex number. Otherwise, um, you don't need to put these two conjugates. These two conjugates will cancel each other if A is um, A and Z are real. So if you do that, if you put H of Z, this is uh, this part uh, is H of Z, and this guy is H conjugate of one over Z conjugate. Because if I if I put here. If, if, if I replace z by z conjugate, h of 1 over z conjugate, okay, is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus a, and then you have z minus 1, and I put 1 over z conjugate, okay? Now, if I put another conjugate on the top of this one, this guy, I put another conjugate on top of that. So, h conjugate 1 over z conjugate is going to be equal to so this one becomes 1 minus a and then this will become z conjugate all over that okay and then if i put another conjugate on that i get 1 over 1 i get 1 over um, 1 minus a conjugate z so this needs to be corrected so we need to have a conjugate here so um so this is uh, the the final results and um, you can easily prove that if you replace this z by e to the power of j omega so you get this becomes S y y of omega, the power spectrum of y becomes S x x of omega, which is a real non-negative number divided by one minus a conjugate of e to the power j omega times times uh, one minus a e to the power of minus j omega. Obviously. In the denominator, these two terms are complex conjugate of each other. And therefore, the denominator also is a non-negative real number, which is absolute value. So you, in that case, you get S y y of omega becomes S x x of omega times H of omega to the power of 2, which is Fourier transform of that. So we see that. You had the same same result for uh, continuous time, and, and this is this theorem. So the power spectral density of a discrete type random process is a real non-negative uh, number.